So today in this lesson, we're gonna go through how to set up the automatic backups for DaVinci Resolve and how we can load those backups later on so we can save ourselves a lot of hassle. Hello, how are you all? I'm well, hope you had a nice Christmas. I had a very nice Christmas. I ate too much food, which is a nice Christmas for me. Anyway, let's not talk about Christmas. Let's talk about DaVinci Resolve. So if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, some tips and tricks along the way, well, this is the channel for you. So make sure to subscribe and give me a late Christmas present. Anyway, let's talk about auto saves and how to use them and how to set them up. So they're really easy to set up. All you got to do is come up to DaVinci Resolve, just up here in your top left hand corner. Then you want to go down to preferences. You want to come across to a user and then you want to go to project save and load. And it might be set up for you guys. So what you got to do is go to project backups. Then you want to select how often you want that backup to happen. So let's say about five minutes is pretty good. Now live saves is always really good. So make sure I have that selected. But today we're just focusing on project backups. So you come down and save that. Now, let's say you've done a grade and it's gotten to a point where you have no idea what you've done. And you think, oh, I don't know how to go back where it was. I don't know what node is what. How do I save this? Or maybe you've changed something in your settings and it's completely wrecked your entire project, which I did the other day. I'm not gonna tell you what it was because I don't want you to go and test that theory out and um, be really annoyed at me. Anyway, let's go to home. And then as you can see, we have our project here, which I've named Tubes for no particular reason. So to perform our project backup, all you gotta do is right click on the project that you wanna back up and then come down to project backups and then select which backup you want to load. The way it works is the top one is your most recent backup and obviously the bottom is the earliest backup you have. So let's say I want to load up my earliest one. All I got to do is highlight that and then go to load. DaVinci will come up with the project name but in brackets will come up with copy. That means DaVinci Resolve isn't going to overwrite that project you've got, but in fact, it's going to make a copy of that project, which is actually really good because let's say the one you backed up isn't the one you actually wanted and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So it makes a copy, which is actually really handy. So congratulations, Blackmagic Design and DaVinci Resolve. So of course, you can name it something else, but we'll just call it copy from now. Press OK. Then close this area off by clicking this little X here. And then as you can see, we have a copy. So if we go into it, now we are right back at the start of our project. And as you can see, our project looks so much better. Doesn't look horrible as it did before. And everyone is happy. So that's something really handy to know. It is something obviously I used in the past, like I said. Um, I hope you guys don't have to use it because no one wants to go backwards when they're grading. We always wanna go forward. But sometimes you do make mistakes and you do get a little bit lost. So it's always good to know that you can always jump back in and save yourself a lot of hassle so you don't have to regrade the entire project and you can actually move full steam ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick lesson. If you like this type of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will make sure I answer any questions you guys put down. I hope you had a great Christmas. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Drew from Green Productions.